What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Cleaver, Colin Andrew, back with Prime Cuts, episode 19, Money in the Bank Predictions. And today I am joined by Big G from NoDQ.com. How's it going, Big G? What's going on, Colin? Um, how are you doing today? I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh, just, you know, hanging out and getting some stuff done. Messing with the uh, new TV, putting all the settings in right and passwords and blah, 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 because I finally got the first smart TV. So, you know, but we are in a very unique money in the bank this year. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get started with a fatal four way for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. We have the New Day versus Lucha House Party versus Forgotten Sons versus Miz and Morrison. Um, Big G, start us off here, my man. Oh, man. So, the New Day just won. Oh, actually, Big E just won the titles a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And it's another single triple threat match they did. Um, I felt they should have kept the titles on Miz and Morrison. Um, you know, Forgotten Sons just got there. Lucha House Party, you know, they're just more of an enhancement tag team. So, I just, I mean, I hate to say it, but I'm going to stick with the New Day to retain. Yeah, same here as well. I'm also picking New Day. Um, I mean, the Forgotten Sons, I like the Forgotten Sons, but the only person that's ever done anything in the Forgotten Sons is Wesley Blake when he was one half of the NXT Tag Champions back in the day with Buddy Murphy. Um, But, yeah, they didn't, you know, they're, they're, uh, Appearance on SmackDown, their show up on SmackDown was really unexpected, but hopefully, you know, good things for them, but just not right off the rip. I'm, I especially with with them. If it was a different tag team, like uh, I mean, even if it was the Undisputed Era, you know, if they got run, run in, yeah, cool, throw the belts on them. But uh, yeah, I'm picking New Day. Like, I don't know. I don't think they're going to keep flip-flopping back and forth just to rank up the New Day's title reigns wins. Um, yeah. Or at least I hope not. Uh, but, yeah, New Day is going to retain, unfortunately. So, moving on to the SmackDown Women's Championship, we have Bailey defending against Tamina. Uh, I'm going Bailey all day on this one. Uh, <laughs> like, I just – unless they pull some Zack Ryder bullshit – I do not see Tamina winning that championship whatsoever. Yeah. Well, I mean, Virtue put his beard on the line if Tamina does, I think. Yeah. You He's know. Ballsy. <laughs> like the guy said, and I think you're going to think it too, you know, they're saving up for that big match. If they, if SummerSlam does take in Boston in August um, to have Bailey versus Sasha finally. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with Bailey to retain. I think this pay per view, most of the champs are gonna retain, or actually all the champs are gonna retain on this pay per view. Yeah, um, I just, oh man, I would never risk my beard for anything. Sorry, like I'll bet some stuff on some matches and stuff, but I'll do a dance, I'll do something, but I'm not, I'm not shit, I'm not shaving my beard for anything. No. So uh, work, work too hard for these beards. I mean, I didn't work for shit. I'm just lazy, and uh, and it just it just happens that yeah. it it grows back faster than I can shave it. So whatever. Yeah. But moving on to another SmackDown Championship, we have the Universal Champion Braun Strowman defending against Bray Wyatt. Um, I don't know how, but Braun's gonna retain, in my opinion. I just I'm not sure, hundred percent sure how. But I, the match that we all want to see, at least out of these two, is the Monster Among Men versus The Fiend, not Braun Strowman versus Bray Wyatt, Mr. Rogers. You right. know what I mean? You know, the good old friend next door. <laughs> uh, you know, I just, I just don't, I just, I don't know. I mean, I know the only reason Braun has the title is because Roman pulled out of WrestleMania. That's the only reason. Yeah. Because he wasn't even scheduled on the card. No, he wasn't. So, uh, yeah, don't know about that. But what do you think, Big G? So, this is what I'm thinking. Um, I'm going to see, I can see Strowman retaining, and then the lights go out, and then The Fiend shows up and hits the sister Abigail. 
slash Mandible Claw on Strowman, and then that way that sets up the Fiend Bray Wyatt versus Braun Strowman. So I'm sticking with Strowman to win. To retain. Okay. So if if this does happen with the Fiend popping up, would it be kind of cool if you would uh, see Strowman maybe go back into his Black Sheep character, start wearing the mask again? Like just to kind of just to kind of screw with try to try to screw with Bray, like try to play some type of head game or anything like that. Like, you know, normally when people wear a mask, they feel more powerful. Yada yada yada. You know, I could that that'd be that'd be something interesting to continue the storyline because I know if anything, Reigns will be out at least until SummerSlam if you know he's back in good. Uh, good waters are, you know, good with uh, Vince, you know, because I think Vince is kind of mad at him for bailing on WrestleMania and whatnot, because they did, well, I mean, I guess they pulled what reigns out of that video package the other night on Raw, so. Yeah, I mean, I can see Vince being mad at him, but at the same time, like, the dude has a legit underlying condition. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And... You know, he can be mad all he wants, but, you know, there's nothing he can do about it, really. You can't no. fire him over it because there's a lawsuit that Roman will win. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> and then, so you screw over Roman, then there goes the Usos, then they, there goes Tamina and Nia, which really don't mean shit, and then there goes The Rock. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I could see The Rock severing his ties over something like that for sure, yeah. so... But back to money in the bank. <laughs> Seth Rollins, the Monday Night Messiah, challenging WWE champion Drew McIntyre. Do you really see Drew McIntyre winning the championship for his first time ever at WrestleMania and then dropping it the next pay-per-view? No. I see McIntyre retaining... And, you know, I see Seth Rollins continuing on with his Monday, Mi- Monday Night Messiah gimmick. And, you know, maybe possibly eventually if Andrade, Andrade does ever drop the U.S. title to face, then you can have Rollins go after the U.S. title. Um, we know Kevin Owens is out with an injury right now, so that storyline's kind of, like, paused right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when if what I mean I think picking McIntyre to retain, and maybe at SummerSlam we'll see Jinder Mahal versus Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship, and maybe later we'll be back by then and can be the special guest referee. <laughs> That'd be some shit to see. Three MB baby. There you go. All right, so we have the women's Money in the Bank. And the men's money in the bank, both happening at the same time. So yeah. I'm very interested to see how this is going to go. But we're going to start with the participants in the women's money in the bank match. We have Asuka, Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax, Dana Brooke, Lacey Evans, and Carmella. Uh, we get two picks. We get a primary for two points and a secondary for one point. Uh, Big G, take it away. So I'm thinking long and hard about this. For my number two pick. My number two pick, I'm going to go with Asuka. Just because the fact, you know, she's been rather entertaining during this whole empty crowd arena. You know, going, speaking out in her Japanese and doing what she does. You know, she's picking up some momentum again. And obviously my first pick is going to be Shayna Baszler. That way she can continue the feud with Becky and then do it in a heelish way and cash in on Becky, you know, when Becky least expects it. And then that way that sets up their um, rubber match at SummerSlam or whenever. Okay. Um, my primary pick is Lacey Evans. Okay. Uh, she was super close. I, I don't know. I just see something. I see big things in her. I mean, and we all see big things with Nia. <laughs> but I see big things in, in Lacey Evans. Uh, and my secondary pick is Shayna Baszler. Um, it's just always been in the back of my mind. Like, our, I mean, Shayna can easily win the championship and earn championship opportunities different ways. But um, 
I see her as a credible, honestly, money in the bank contender as well. So I'm really hoping for Lacey. I don't. I mean, she was this close, this close to the last pay per view. And uh, WrestleMania, yeah. Yeah. So I was, you know, I was hoping for, her, but it is what it is. And hey, then, uh, did, you, did you pick? Did you do your pick for um, McIntyre versus Rollins? I can't remember. Oh yeah, Drew McIntyre. Yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. Normally, I write down my picks as I go, but I have everything already filled out, so I just yeah. lost track of it. But, yeah. <laughs> but good catch, good catch. So moving on to the other half of the match, all the men's participants: Daniel Bryan, Baron Corbin, Otis, AJ Styles, Aleister Black, and Rey Mysterio. Okay. <sighs> well, this is an interesting lineup. Yes, it is. Compared to different money in the banks in the past. But, um, <clears throat> I mean, it is what it is. I'm, my primary pick is Aleister Black, and my secondary pick is Baron Corbin. Um, I know, right? I thought I would never be on the Corbin train, but it's either going to be a face or a heel. So, I, you know, obviously I needed to pick one of each. Um, okay. You know, similar to what I did with the Money in the Bank for the women's match, Shayna Baszler is in that tweener stage right now where they can send her either way at the snap of a finger. So, yeah, Baron Corbin is my secondary pick. All right, cool, cool. So my secondary pick I'm going to go with... Oh, God. I'm going to have to go with Alistair for my secondary pick, and I'll go with AJ Styles to get my as my primary pick, because I can see eventually down the road, AJ versus McIntyre in a match, which would be pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I just don't, I just see, I don't know how this is going to play out. They're starting at the bottom of the WWE headquarters and then going to the roof where there's a ring set up and yeah. a ladder and a briefcase suspended above that. I mean, this is both of them. So, I mean, this is just like, it's going to be, it's going to be, hopefully they do it like cinematic, like they did the Boneyard match and like the Firefly Funhouse at WrestleMania. Um, I see, that'd be cool. I see this possibly being the main event. That way they can get everything done at the performance center live. And then once that's done, they can just cut to, you know, have everybody on the ground floor just, like, sitting there waiting at the, you know, everybody sitting on the couches, right? And then, like, you got somebody at the de- front desk, and then they ring the bell, and then you see, like, everybody trying to get to the stairs and the elevators and stuff like that. Kind of like kind of like Rat Race. This is what it reminds me of, Rat Race. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, do you, I don't know, have you been seeing those tweets from that mystery hacker do you think that per, that mystery hacker will show up at wrestlemania or money in the bank um i believe it was greg cherry who said it last night that he thinks the mystery hacker is gonna somehow win the money in the bank um yeah. but i don't know people are I'm saying, thinking it's ali i'm thinking ali shorty g greg was thinking xavier woods People are saying CM Punk now or something like that, that he might show up. But because they I guess the um, the latest tweet or something like that, it said, do I have it, it was obviously it was upside down. But it says, do I have your attention now? And they were for, like mentioning that CM Punk had made that same line a couple years ago, back when he was um, the 2011 Money in the Bank back with John Cena. So mm. it would be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what they do if somebody does show up. I just hope Lesnar doesn't show up and pull off a stunt like last year. You know, <laughs> I don't so, think it's I don't think it's going to be that because the the hacker also said keep your friends close or keep your enemies close but your friends close or something weird like it was a different take on that generic saying you know. But so it could I mean I don't see it being Xavier. I don't think it's been a long enough time for Xavier. No. So, but, I don't know. I, I'd be cool if they showed up. Yeah. That'd be, but, that'd be interesting. I mean, you know, I just am wondering who it is. Yeah. 
at this point. You know, we have a few people it could be, but it, there are a couple, like, I don't want it to be Shorty G. No. Nah. I mean, Ali, I could see, because they he had that blue light or whatever, you know, and yeah. that makes no sense. You know, he wants to get his redemption from last year, getting mm. screwed out from Lesnar, so... Yep. Other than that, I mean, Money in the Bank, we'll, like I said, we'll see how it goes this year. I mean, the latter matches seem the most intriguing out of all the matches so far. I'm mm-hmm. sure I'm sure they're going to add a couple more matches like they always do during the weekend. Yeah, yeah. we have, yeah. I'm sure, because I know Sheamus and Hardy are supposed to be on SmackDown, so they might be adding that match possibly on Money in the Bank. <laughs> Speaking of Jeff Hardy, I hope he comes back with the No More Words oh my uh, theme, because that, that. That, that song is badass. I don't even care. I have it on here. I don't I even do. care. I, do too. I don't even give a shit. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping to see, like, one thing, though. I'm hoping to see, like, Rey Mysterio, like, run and dive off of, like, Nia Jax's back or something during this match. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just... Or... or uh, intergender things last night so that'd be that'd be kind of cool you know do something like that yeah but we will see this sunday yep mother's day so happy mother's day to all the moms out there um you know enjoy your day even though you guys can't go out and do shit but it's the quarantine times folks so (laughs) big g you got any plugs Yep, nodq.com slash big G takes it to my Twitter page. No DQ underscore big G on Instagram, Jeff Filt on Facebook, and uh no DQ.com slash merch for the na- latest no DQ merch. Go check out um the Greg Cherry ran on YouTube, the Jeff Meacham Network on YouTube, after match wrestling. You know, there's so much wrestling content out there on YouTube. You can follow everybody. Um other than that, that's it for me. Kyle and take us home, buddy. All right, all right. Thanks again, folks, for joining us today for Prime Cuts, episode 19, Money in the Bank. If you like this video, click the share button and the like button and the subscribe button and tell your friends, tell your uh, postman, tell your dog, tell your people at the local local grocery store. Uh, I don't really care. Uh, Support Aftermath Wrestling. You can find them on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, it's all one word, A-F-T-E-R-M-A-T-C-H space wrestling. And on Instagram, it's aftermatch underscore wrestling. On Twitter, it is aftermatch rest, W-R-E-S-T. Um, follow me on in, on YouTube at Cleaver Call and Andrew. Follow me on Instagram at Call on 26 Andrew. And on Twitter at no DQ Call and Andrew. So good luck to you, Big G, this Sunday in the no DQ group. Um, yep. Yeah, support NoDQ.com, uh, Jeff Meacham at the Jeff Meacham Network and the Greg Cherry brand. Um, we will Aaron Rift tonight is going live for the NXT AEW reviews. Um, Stephen Osborne and Jerry Slaughter on Aftermath Wrestling are also going live at 10.15 p.m. Eastern time for What's NXT. So stop on over to either um, or and both. hang out and both. Yeah, bounce back and forth. If you have a laptop and a phone, put one on each. Have a good time. Hang out in the chat rooms. I'll be there. Big G will probably be there. So uh, until next time, folks, take it easy and uh, stay safe. Wash your hands. <laughs>